C++ the signal function. C++ signal handling library provides function signal to trap unexpected events. So that is one function which is predefined the function name is signal. Following is the syntax of the signal function. So this is a syntax of the signal function. You can find that this signal function is actually having two arguments. So there is an argument number one and that is the argument number two. Keeping it simple, this function receives two arguments. The first argument is an integer which represents the signal number that is the number of the signal and second argument as a pointer to the signal handling function. That means if that signal occurs, then what code is to be executed? What are the remedies? What are the actions to be taken? So those things will be written in the respective signal handling function. I think it would be better if you go for one sample code. Let us write a C++ sample code where we will catch SIGINT, all these letters are written in capital letters, signal using signal function, whatever signal you want to catch in your program, you must register the signal using the signal function and associate it with a signal handler. So this is the code for us. So here you can see that here we are having this signal handler. So one function is written here, this is one function. And here we are having this int signum that is a one integer argument and there is a respective body going to be executed and then exit sig signum. So this is the signum we are having. So exit signum will be there which clean ups and close the stop here and terminate the program itself. Now this is the main function we have written. So here using this signal function, this sig int has got registered and this is the signal handler, the respective function, whatever we have defined earlier. So we have mentioned this one, this is a signal handling function. And then while one, we are having this respective code here and return 0 will terminate the code. After termination, the 0 will be returned there. So this is the respective main function. I think for the better understanding, let us execute this code on our system and we should, we should compile it, we should run it and we should judge and discuss on the respective outputs obtained. So here is the demonstration for you. In this program, at first we shall register the signal signint and the signal handler function through the signal function. So here is a signal function for us. We have called this signal function and the first argument as an integer which represents the signal number and the second argument as a pointer to the signal handling function. That means when that corresponding signal will be generated, then what is the respective activity we are going to do. So that has to be maintained or mentioned in the signal handler function. So here you see, here we are having this main function and the main function has gone for an infinite loop and it will go on printing going to sleep and that is one sleep function we have called which will make the program halt for one second. And in this case, to have this particular function defined in this respective header file, so that's why we have included this one. Okay, now let me execute my code for the better understanding. So now when I shall execute, when I shall click on compile and run option of this C++, then we are finding this each one second we are going to get going to sleep this message is getting displayed until I press Ctrl C from my keyboard. So if I press Ctrl C then I am coming out and the last line printed was this one. But as the corresponding output screen has gone off so that's why we could not see the output properly. So that's why let me bring my respective command prompt here for the better understanding. So here we are typing G++, here the name of the program is prog, prog86.cpp, my output file name is a.exe. So I have compiled this one and the compilation has got a success, I am just executing my program. So you see going to sleep is getting printed at each one second. 
so now if I go for control C then interrupt signal 2 received so this is the interrupt signal 2 so that means this particular control C is producing the signal number 2 received this particular message is getting displayed okay now it is not mandatory that this function name should be always uh, signal handler I could have given the name like this one so it will depend upon my programming technique you see I'm just writing this function name like this one so if I go on executing the code as I did before you can find that the program is working fine and if I press ctrl C it is coming out and giving me the respective outputs so this is my program and how this program is getting executed we have explained this one line by line hope you have got the idea that how this signal can be handled using C++ coding. So in this way, if I press Ctrl C, we are getting interrupt signal to receive.